do you believe in Jesus? Well, believe what in Jesus? What exactly does that mean? You better get this right, son. John 3.16 says, Whosoever believeth in him, in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. A lot of people believed in him. A lot of, they'd see him walking down the street. They believed in him. He was right there. Was that saving faith? No, no. Bible says, believe in the name of Jesus. Well, a lot of people believed that people had the name Jesus. A lot of people believed that his name was Jesus. Was that saving faith? Again, no, it was not saving faith. Just faith in what? First, the name of Jesus. The name there in that case is not talking about the word Jesus. It's talking about the reputation of Jesus. You know, he, um, he made a name for himself, the name of Jesus. You see what I'm saying? But believe in what? Romans 10.9 is very specific. If you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. There you go. Believe in the resurrection. That's why Paul said, without the resurrection, our faith is, is in vain. Believe in the reputation, the name of Jesus. What he did. Does it mean you follow Jesus? You go to church? That's a good thing to do. But the thief on the cross did not follow Jesus. The thief on the cross did not go, probably, to church. So believe in the resurrection. If you believe in the supernatural resurrection of Jesus, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's as simple as that. You need to be careful. If you call yourself a Christian, because you go to church, even if you read your Bible, you watch sermons on TV, yeah, I'd say you're a Christian. If you go to church, to a Christian church, you are a Christian. Are you saved? Do you believe in the resurrection? That is it. Don't go through your life saying, I'm a Christian, therefore I am saved. Do you believe that God raised him from the dead?